Hello everyone, today I am back with something crazy. We will check an F strategy, which is just insane. This is a loadout for the player 3. I am the player 3. The strategy needs only 3 people. So the other 2 players need these loadouts. As you can see, player 2 is very beginner friendly compared to the player 1 and 3. Not gonna lie, I cannot believe we can do expert in deserted island so easily now. Literally it is so easy bro. We will farm a bit but not a lot. Also let me enable the 50% speed boost. That makes it so much better. And also we can skip nearly all of the waves in this strategy. The strategy may look a bit advanced but it really is not that hard man. I got used to it after doing one match as player 3. You just need good towers and that's it. And player 2 is beginner friendly so you can try to find other 2 players and still do this strategy without golden towers or worship. The placements of the towers are really important because you know the empty space you have in this map is very limited. The cryo towers are really important in this strategy. They are so important for the early game. Early game is just too hard to do in this map without their help man like really. You know the resurrected armored ranger. You will just die if you don't have the cryo rangers. We have to freeze it so it won't just run away and kill us. Cryo rangers are only used for this purpose to be honest. Maybe it does need a great buff too. In DPS it is just Batman like ranger is buffed but why not cryo ranger isn't. As you can see in this wave there are the mutant zombies you need to freeze them some way. Golden ranger can't do anything unless you freeze them. Here is the resurrected armored ranger now. This guy runs so fast so we have to freeze him. And yeah as you can see it's so easy when you freeze him man like it can't even move. For real people are saying these cryo towers are bad however they really not like this if, if they are used like this. I mean no one will use them as main dps so yeah like they don't do any dps man. The wave 10 is here basically for this wave I have to get a bottom pad cryo blaster so we can freeze the knight and kill it. If you don't freeze it then you will just lose. Cryo blaster can easily freeze the knight if you put it on strongest. If you don't put them on strongest then you will just lose. These waves are pretty easy. I will farm a little and get all, all of my 3 farms to level 1, 3. The grenadiers are really dangerous but yeah, golden rangers are just overpowered in the early game. The bottom path is even crazier for the golden ranger I mean. By the way, this used to be so much easier. You could use the power ups but now they disabled it. The power ups for the impossible maps. Literally see, just 3 regular grenadiers made the wave a bit dangerous. It's because of how short this map is. You will die from a single shot from the grenadier. Here we go. We got the first golden juggernaut now. I must get this guy to the bottom pad so it can have its stat detection. We will need it for the wave 19. It is a huge problem. So in this strategy, there are a few waves which are very dangerous. 19 is one of them. You need to be careful with the targeting. Wave 18 is just so easy compared to these dangerous waves. All you need for the wave 18 is just golden juggernauts. It does most of the work. Golden Rangers do help by a lot too, but Golden Juggernaut is a must. It is really really needed for this strategy. The stun immunity makes it so useful. Bro if the elite grenadier trap its grenade we could die in this wave. But because we put our towers on last we killed it before it could throw the grenade. So we passed the wave 19. But I will keep all of my towers on the last targeting. So we can kill any elite grenadiers which will spam in the later waves. It's so satisfying to watch the golden juggernaut destroy everything man. If the golden juggernaut didn't have the stun immunity on the early levels, this wouldn't be possible at all. The elite grenades are a huge problem. They spam shockers which are so annoying. Again, this wave is so easy man like, this wave is a cashcraft wave for us. We get so much cash from damaging these bosses. The next waves are also really easy so, yep, it is peaceful. Golden juggernauts are so overpowered bro. They can easily kill anything, but yeah. That's just the beginning. The late game is a bit more harder. Oh my god man, these waves are so easy. All I will do is use spamming more golden juggernauts. This strategy is very easy but to memorize it, you just need to do a bit of practice. There are a few steps you have to do, it's not a lot. But the things important are the small details, such as the waves you should not skip, and the targeting changes you need to do. These waves with the regular juggernauts, because you know, they can be stunned. But the golden juggernauts cannot be stunned. It is so good bro. For real. Here we are in wave 3 now. There will be 3 predators and a few revived abominations. Bro the revived abominations are a huge threat for us. They run so fast and that's why. They can run through the whole map in some seconds. Issue so dangerous man like. After I upgrade all of my juggernauts. 
I will finally start using the patrol boat and the warship. Basically they are here for the late game, you will never use them for the early game. I have to place a single patrol boat on the bottom pad so it can help with its frame thrower. It does amazing amount of DPS against the hordes and that's really what we need for the late game. But after the patrol boat I start putting warships. I won't max the warships out, all I need is 2 warships on 4 to level and I will put them on last so they can deal more splash damage. Look at the amount of DPS we are doing though, literally I love this strategy. I should say this, I never tried the strategy with one player having the regular juggernaut. I prefer 2 golden juggernaut players, just in case you know, the strat is really hard and it's not worth making it harder. So yes, finally I am really close to getting my first warship on 4th level. It deals so great damage with its rocket launchers. You know, I should ask this. Let me know that in the comments, I am really curious about the opinions of the people. Honest man, like, the thing which makes the strategy a bit hard is the multipliers. Literally they are so annoying in this map. If you are not so good at using Anchor and John, then again, it's a huge problem for you. Don't be player too if you can't use Anchor and John at the same time. Honestly, it must be hard to do that on mobile, so yeah, I prefer to do it on computer. It's the time to save for a max level gold juggernaut. We will need instability for the final wave. The revived abominations can kill you if you don't use the ability. Also, always have a player who owns the 50% speed boost game pass. With that game pass, it is just so crazy bro. The amount of gold you can make in an hour is just literally so much. A match takes like 10 minutes with the game pass. So that means 6 matches in an hour. And that makes more than 13k gold per hour. I mean there is no point doing talents mode when you can use this strategy. Especially if you are here for the XP grind, then instantly go for this strategy. Here is the final wave now. This wave is just very easy, really really easy. All you have to do is just using the abilities of the towers. I mean the towers such as Golden Jagannars, EDJs and Jones. You will just shred the Eradicator MK2 but if you don't use the ability of the Golden Jagannars on time, then some revived abominations may just run and kill you, so be careful. Yep, the bro is going to die so fast. We would be dead if it didn't have any abilities. It does waste so much time by using its abilities for real. Bro, we killed the Eradicator so fast and there are still many enemies spawning after it. This is literally insane, trust me. <laughs> but yes, anyways, it was easy, right? You better try this strategy yourself. <laughs> it is really, really easy, man. Like, it is really fun in my opinion, man. Like, really. <laughs> also, you get like... 4k gold if it's your first time winning in this map. So yeah, anyways, the link of the strategy is in the description. Again, I am going to say this, the strategy is not made by me. All credits goes to the testers and creators of the strategy. Also, just an extra, you can also grind so many power-ups by doing this. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, have a good day or night, and see ya!